and it's important. Take a walk with Andrea Horn. People need to know their history. And you will step into a world full of untold stories. This is not just trans history. This is American history. It's LGBT history. It's black history. Pieces of history she has found. Madame Petrini. Through archives. Chevalier Dion. And photographs. Her name is Mary Jones. And this painting is from 1836. And it's the first time in American history that someone was called transgender. From the first. This is Mother George. To those who braved the Wild West. Mother George is a trans woman that was a midwife. And her family were some of the founders of the state of Idaho. To a piece of history. And it's Sister Kate. Right here in the Bay Area. She was the ruling queen of San Quentin in the 1920s and 30s. Stories she hopes will give the world more than just a snapshot of her community. Trans people need to know their history. We're told we're awful and we don't know our place in the world and then come to find out that we were the fabulosity behind everything that was happening. And being fabulous is something Andrea Horn knows all too well. After transitioning herself as a teen at the age of 15, she would later move from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Because I had friends here. Um, Sylvester, I'm on his album cover. And yes, she lived with Sylvester here in San Francisco. Brianna McCree with a San Francisco transgender district calls Andrea Horn an icon, who has listened to her stories about being part of the cultural nightlife of the 70s. She always says if she wasn't running from her transness, she would have been a star. They would have tried to make her a celebrity. But instead of being famous, she became an advocate. She's always been a community activist, a mother, a grandmother, and a fighter for justice and liberation with us all. Today, Andrea Horn is continuing the fight by turning her research into a book. The working title of the book is called How Black Trans Women Changed the World. A book. I wish I were a girl again, half savage and hearty and free. Giving the transgender community a complete story. The message is for everyone, but I'm writing it for black trans women. But the message is for all. A message you will better understand if you step outside with Andrea Horn. And she'll not only take you on a walk, she'll take you on a journey. So that we can all be informed and fabulous. Because I'm already fabulous. I'm trying to help y'all.